Hi friends, in this video, we will see how to create dummy JSON data. So, first I will go to the website called generatedata.com. Okay. So I will share this link for this website in the description. So in the generatedata.com, once you go to this, you have to click the generator button. So once you click, it will give you some <clears throat> rows okay by default four rows are there so the first column is data type so like our typical database so what is the data type you have to select and what is the property name that's all so i am going to populate 10 fields okay first thing is names so here what is the property name so json attribute name that uh, you have to provide i am just want to give name that's all if you want first name last name you can give like this otherwise just name is enough for me so second row i am going to select the data type will be numeric okay because i want to put uh, age okay so number range i name the property name as age so i want to give the date between 1 to 80 okay yeah so next thing is i want to generate email address okay uh, so this is the source so here source what it want you have to provide what are the domains you want the all the mail from google gmail or outlook yahoo whatever you want you can give so what i will give i'll just give google and outlook google hot hotmail and outlook so i remove other stuff okay google hotmail and other stuff so domain is like that dot com org so what is the domain suffix you want you can give okay so next after name so i'll change i want to create the employee database so i'll change the age between 20 to 80 so after email i want to create a numeric salary field okay so again i'm giving number so i'll change into number range to a salary or i can give instead of number i can give currency also fine currency okay so currency so here i am giving salary so i can give the range here so from 5000 to 10000 dollars so okay so here if you want to do any settings you can go here the symbol if you want to change the symbol any any other uh, or like euro or indian currency or aed anything if you want you can change the suffix then after that, if you want more rows, you can click row button. After currency, I want to add phone. So here, like phone, what country you want, you can select. I'll leave as it is, North America. That after that, if you want any other thing, you can select. I'm just selecting date. Then I'm giving as a DOB, date of birth. Then what is the range you can give? So what kind of range you want from the date range from one to? So I'm just going to 1980. Nineteen eighty. Yeah, I want the date from 1980, first of Jan to current date. Okay. So what is the format you want? You can give. I leave the existing format as it is. Then after date, I want company. So what is the company he's working? Then if what is the city? So you can give. So like that, whatever field you want, you keep on adding. So if I drop down, you can see name. It's a data type. What kind of time, company, state, region, latitude and longitude, and uh, what is this, a Boolean value, alphanumeric. So like that color. So whatever things you want, you can add it here. So once you complete that, once you complete, then you have to click generate button so here preview is there if you click preview button this preview button will show you what is the data is available okay so what all data it got generated if you want to save this data so this is a json data you have to click generate so here how many datas you want i want 100 rows or 1000 rows how much you want you can mention here then click generate so once you click generate it will give you the path where you want to store so you can give the i'll click download button then i'm storing in my path as a employee data okay 
So employee data, if I go to employee data, so this is the data. So I got 100 data. If you want to verify the count of this, I'll go to console. I'm just creating employees. Okay, so employees. Okay, so here you can see how much employees have been saved, created. Okay, thanks for watching this video. Bye.